Hey YouTubers, this is G here. Sorry I haven't made no videos lately. I'm working on some projects in my home here and uh, I just wanted to show you. If you're thinking about building a shelf in your garage, I'll give you uh, six steps on what you should do here. Now you can see here I've already started the framing on this particular shelf. And what I did was come over here I throw a piece of you know ASB right here along with a piece of shear rack right here and I only got it is for uh, for you as a uh, point of view to see how I'm doing it to make sure that this shelving is going to be secure and not go anywhere on you you know what I mean no rocking no nothing etc you know so but six steps you want to do is first plan your shelving what size and dimension do you want to use for your shelving in your garage for the space that's available? And as you can see here, I started my framing. Now, I always paint my wood before I even start putting it up. So that way, it's termite, you know, protected, you know, and insect protected, etc. You know, so you can see here how I got the 2x4s spread out in between the supports here. You can see that my leveler is on point so this tells you that this shelving system is right on point so the second step is go ahead like I said is get your measurements and everything like that I prefer that I don't like my garage to go ahead and just be just a plain old wood showing itself in the garage I'm doing a little bit more modification called integrative shelving that is my terminology that I came up with integrative shelving and it's going to look like it's part of the house and I'm going to show you one of my other shelves that I did that I think you guys will really like to see how I am doing my shelving in my house so as I like I said so that's uh first step second step you know cut your boards you know have them painted already you know so that way you ain't got to worry about it third step go ahead have your ASB right here at least supporting one side so that way that way if you decide to hang something right here you can put it right here on this board right here and you can drill into this right here so that way it's not going anywhere you know and <clears throat> uh, it's a little warm today, so it's kind of tiresome. I just got back from walking my dog, so I'm a little exhausted here. So just bear with me if I'm kind of like taking breath in and out, you know, from time to time. So, uh, but I wanted to show you guys how what I'm doing here on my integrative shelving here. This will be a four-stage, uh, one, two, three, four-stage shelving, which includes the concrete flooring, then the, then the second one, then the third one, and then all the way up in the top for the for your fourth shelving to be supported up there you know to put your boxes your plastic containers and whatever you know so I'm sorry so your third step is you want to go ahead and you want to go ahead and throw your shear rock on here you see how I already got it integrated with shear rock right here I went ahead and I put my shear rock right here and uh, you'll see you guys will see how how I you know how it's gonna look after you know I show you and then I left this one blank right here to show you you know like you know everything you know is squared and teed you know and then you're gonna put your inner brace shelving your inner brace uh, two by fours right here so that way you don't get no sag in the middle when you apply your plywood or whatever you're using I'm using this ASB boarding because one cost efficient is cheaper two it's not for looks it's for holding items in the shelf and system it's way much cheaper to use it this way and then what I do is I take I take the smooth side the smooth side right here on this ASB and I use it as my top for my my shelving system and then I take a sander and then I sand it really really fine and then I apply a uh, a paint on there that's gonna be waterproof so if you spill something on there, 
it's not going to go through and damage the wood. And that paint from uh, that I buy is about $100 a gallon, but is well worth the investment to give the shelf its longevity. And you're not going to have to worry about, you know, water or any type of fluids getting through that paint and uh, destroying your wood and then you have to end up taking it apart and replacing it so it's worth a hundred dollars in my view so <clears throat> in the third step which I'm going to show you here is it the third or the fourth here and now I'm losing track here guys I'm sorry but I'm going to just show you just briefly how I'm doing my shelving system in my house here and then I'm going to come over here to my other side. That's my heater I installed for my garage. So in the winter times, I will uh, have the garage warm for my cars. Now, this is what I'm talking about. You see how I got this already skimmed and taped and floated, etc. I got already, I'm already utilizing this shelving system right here. But this is uh, step step three. I uh, go ahead and I add the paneling right here for the shelving system. Then I go ahead uh, after I put the shear rock on. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, check fire on that. Uh, put the shelving system in first. Then go ahead and install your drywall. So that way your drywall is going to go ahead and meet flush flush with the bottom of the top of your shelving right there. And then you ain't got to worry about it. You know, not being right and all jaggedy or whatever and your cuts. And then the fifth step is going to go ahead and you're going to add your crown, your whatever you choose to use. I'm using bullnose on this type of shelving, so because that's what's running through this house is bullnose. So I use bullnose, so that way my shelf is going to ma exactly match the bullnose in my house, the way it is in the interior. And I'm going here and installing bullnose in my garage for the exterior of this portion of this garage. But you can see how I already have it. It looks really awesome. I really like the way it turned out, you know fifth step is going to go ahead and be and I'm going to be texturing this the way it's textured right here how I already had this garage my dad already textured this garage for me you know and then we painted it and everything and then we're going to texture this portion of the shelving system so that way it matches the texturing inside the walls of the garage and then your last step is going to be which is your sixth step is going to be going ahead and painting it and it is going to look wonderful and I guarantee it when I am done with this you guys are going to be amazed on how it looks you're going to love it it is worth the investment, it is worth the time. Instead of just having just like, you see how I have that little shelving over there? <laughs> that is just a plain old wood shelving system right there just to hold some things right now while I'm working on the shelving system. And then uh, once this is all complete, this will all go on the shelving system. That uh, temporary shelving stand right there is gonna go down to my dad's land and uh, he can have it out there in his property out there, you know, so, but, this is how I am doing my shelving system. I call it integrative shelving system so it matches the house and the interior as well as the exterior inside here, the, the garage here. I call it the garage the exterior portion of the house because it is kind of like outside of the house itself, you know what I mean? So, but I just wanted to share that with you. I will keep you posted. I will go ahead, I will uh, show you the completion of the texturing, the, the painting, and how this shelf is really going to turn out. And you can see I already applied my first coating on this $100 paint. And uh, I have a slight gap in the back back there on the shelving system, which is fine because I'm going to go ahead and throw some, uh, uh, I believe it's one by one for some trimming back there so that way your boxes aren't going to be squished against the wall. You'll be able to have that light, slight gap right there. So that way you can get your finger on the side of the box. Plus create circulation in there. So that way no chance of mold or anything on your boxes will develop. In the event, you know, depending on where you live, you know, uh, that's just the way I'm going to do it. Is put one by one by one edging right here on this thing but uh, I just wanted to share that with you I wanted to show you how I am working on this right here and I hope you guys like it you know but uh, I will go ahead and uh, show you the completion of it and then you guys can leave me a comment down below 
and let me know what you think. So hang tight, and I will uh, show you the finish up on this project. Hey YouTubers, SSG, how's everybody doing today? Well, I've completed stage 3 and 4 on the shelving system. And I wanted to just give you a little brief update on how it's turning out. You can see I already got the shear rock already installed. I have the ASB installed for the shelving. And disregard the extra shelving board up there of the ASB because that's just an extra piece I just decided to just to throw up there for space savage right now. But they will be coming down. But I just wanted to give you a quick update right here how it is turning out. On the shelving system here. When doing your shelving system like this, it is going to look really, really nice. You are going to be happy that you took the extra time to do it. And you will be pleased with yourself. And as you can see right here, I have the ASB on the smooth side. I'm going to take my little electric sander. I will uh, be sanding it to get all the little extra shavings that stick out from the ASB to give it a smooth smooth surface and when you apply your paint on there whatever paint you ch choose for your liking you know it'll be a whole lot better instead of just having all those raggedy jaggedy edges all through the top surface of your shelving so but just wanted to give you a slight update on how it's going. Like I said, just completed stage 3 and completed stage 4. Stage 4 was applying the ASB shelving. Now I'm going on to move on to stage 5, which is going to be taping. Adding my bonos and floating it out. So that'll be stage 5. And then my stage 6, if I'm correct, will be texturing it and painting it. I will show you more as the progression goes through. Alright everybody, take care. This is G, and I'm out. Alright YouTubers, as you guys can see here now, I added the bull nose on there, and it looks really nice. Now, I could have easily went ahead Instead of nailing the balloon nose, I could have easily used a bunch of compound mud and uh, joint compound mud and uh, go ahead and just load it up behind the balloon nose and just squish it against the fr framing of this shelving. But I wanted this to make sure that it was going to stay and not go anywhere within the heat, within the winter. So I just decided to go ahead and nail it up. And as you can see, it looks really good. So I'm telling you guys, ladies and gentlemen, if you are interested in doing it, take the extra step, take the extra mile, do it, do it nice, you know, and then that way you'll be proud of something that you did and it looks very, very well. And trust me, maybe when coming to selling the home, the buyer of your home, is going to be like, oh my gosh, I really like the way that shelving looks. I call it integrative shelving because it's going to blend in with the wall. But if you want to call it finishing it off, then you can call it finishing it off too on your shelving too. But I just wanted to give you a progress update on my shelving. And I think it looks really, really good. I'm happy with it. I will keep you posted. Take care. And I'm out.